Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sunny. So today I have a short list of my favorite date night fragrances and you know, it's been getting warmer and my partner and I've been going out on a lot more dates and I've been having fun just choosing fragrances based on what we're doing and where we're going. So I thought I'd share them with you and these are not ranked in any way. They're just the five that I reach for the most. So I hope you find it helpful and let's get into it. My first favorite date night fragrance is Delina by Parfums de Marly. So this is for the days when I am dressed up, I'm feeling feminine, maybe I'm wearing a dress. Um, and I just love picking up this bottle and spraying it just before we head out. This is like the final touch to my, I guess, like routine or regimen um, in like getting ready for the date. And just picking up this bottle, it just makes me so happy and it gets me in the mood. This is a sweet lychee rose scent and I honestly think this is a very attention grabbing scent. It's very beautiful and girly and flirty but there is like the sour punch to it that you know that just grabs other people's attention and this is one of those fragrances that you know people ask you what what fragrance are you wearing and sometimes when I ask my partner hey like what fragrance should I wear he always um, asks me to put this one on so it's his favorite as well this always makes those you know man eater perfumes list or you know date night fragrance list like mine so and it's all for a good reason I totally get it so that was Delina by Parfums de Marly Next one is Versace's Crystal Noir. Now this is a really interesting one. First of all, this is a powdery, spicy wood type of scent with some coconut and like tropical florals in it. And this is really interesting because there's a warm spice and a fresh spice. So there is like this cool and warm thing going on that has like this push and pull thing. So I honestly think this is like a tease of a fragrance. And this is really great for like nighttime and I imagine wearing this when you're having like a form-fitting dress on, like a little black dress kind of thing. Also, I should mention that this is the Eau de Toilette version, not the Eau de Parfum. And although I haven't compared the two side by side, this has great solage, long-lasting power, and I usually don't get that from Eau de Toilette, so I was really impressed. And I honestly have heard a lot of reviews that this is actually better than the Eau de Parfum. This is a great sexy nighttime date fragrance and I love that this is also affordable than some of the other fragrances on this list. So yeah, I highly recommend this one. The next one that I love for date nights is Cardinal Flower by Frederick Mall. So this one isn't really like exclusive to dates for me. This is one of my signatures and I wear it all the time. I absolutely love this one. This is a tuberose heavy scent with other white florals and it has um, coconut and melon in it, which I absolutely adore. And uh, the brand says that this one has the most tuberose absolute than any other fragrances in the market, which was really interesting to me. Um, so if you are a tuberose lover, you have to check this one out. But I honestly would love to keep this all to myself and no one else has it in the world but anyway this one costs a little bit more than the other ones from the Frederick Mall collection so I wonder if the tuberose absolute has anything to do with it just to digress a little bit you know I've been looking at a lot of date night fragrances lists and I feel like they're always consisting of mostly gourmands or very sweet vanilla -like florals and honestly I don't think that's all there is to date night fragrances I feel like gourmand fragrances are more casual for some reason and when you have a date night fragrance like Cornel Flower, I feel like it's for those nights where you feel essential, you are getting intimate but at the same time you want to be treated to nice things, nice experiences, nice dinner, whatever. Um, you want to be courted and you want to be treated with respect and a little bit more care so anyways that was Cornel flower i absolutely adore this one it's one of my signatures and two rose lovers definitely uh need to smell this one the next one is quite interesting and it is white flowers by creed so this is one of their royal exclusives versions and 
it's kind of pricey but you know the bottle is just so beautiful right and I absolutely love this one for kind of formal occasions and the reason why it's on this list is you know you are on dates sometimes where you are their date to like a formal event so like a gala or a wedding or you know maybe a business uh, event and you are not you know putting on a perfume to um, just impress your date it's really about being impressionable and being presentable to you know the other attendees at this event and you want to smell like elegant and beautiful and you know kind of elevated so you know you don't want to smell like a piece of dessert I actually bought this as a tester without the cap from the gray market what are your guys thoughts on you know purchasing from like gray market sites you know please let me know and let me know if you are, think they're legit and um, what your favorite sites are I don't know but anyway white flowers I really love the scent of this one um, it's very elegant beautiful it's a green floral that has both yellow and white florals and it's a pretty straightforward floral but I haven't smelled anything like this on the market so it's quite unique Again, a great one for like formal dates um, and I also think this would be great for wedding um, fragrance, you know, because it is so unique and special and you're, you're spending a pretty dollar. But anyway, White Flowers by Creed is a great one. The last one on the shortlist is Viva Le Juicy Gold Couture by Juicy Couture. I had to include a gourmand because they do make good date night fragrances. Um, this one has notes of berries and it is a really like a caramel um, heavy scent and it has notes of vanilla and sandalwood also at the base and I think this is really really good um, I honestly think this is a more complex version of Cherry Rosa 62 by Sol de Gennaro. I'm not sure if I'm saying the name right but that body spray is super popular right now um, and it's like the scent in bum bum cream which is like all the hype right now but I feel like this is the better version of that um, I've had this in my collection for quite some time and this is another one that my partner loves on me it's great for like the casual nights when you know you're just hanging out um, you know it's great for going out too but I like to just wear this for you know when we're just grabbing something really quick to eat um, uh, if we're watching like a movie or for you know cooking together or just you know those type of dates uh, it's a bit young but it's still a good gourmand and it's super affordable so um, I think this is a good one for dates as well so that concludes the video I hope you found this list a little bit helpful I try to think about like the different occasions or different type of settings that you might be in um, that are considered dates you know anything from uh, a casual dinner to a formal event to like an intimate setting daytime nighttime but anyways I hope you found this list interesting and I hope to see you guys in the next one bye for now